I want to get the reaction from our journalist Peter O'Brien, uh, who's at the party headquarters this uh, Monday. Uh, Peter, then, this a uh, huge embarrassment for Macron after he called uh, these snap elections uh, just three weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a com complete disaster. I mean, e even those close to him, his inner circle, his party camp, were terrified about what would happen when he did call that surprise mm -hmm. snap election on the 9th of June. Mm -hmm. We were hearing there about this three-way race, right, that's coming up next um, Sunday in 300 constituencies. That's a record number. And how Macron's coalition, you can't really call, call it that anymore. The message discipline is not there. Yes, the Prime Minister Gabriel Attal came out a couple hours after the, the results came in last night to say if we have a third place candidate, they will stand, stand down so that the Rassemblement National has less of a chance of winning the seat. But uh, Francois Bayrou, the head of Modem, one part of the coalition, um, Edouard Philippe, head of Horizons, another part of the coalition, they've said, actually, we're going to be out to block both the Rassemblement National and the far left LFI, which is the main part of the left wing bloc. So <laughs> we're seeing there that there's this confusion and complete lack of message di discipline from the uh, what was the presidential majority in party um, in, in parliament as to what to do in this three-way race and obviously the more confusion there is the more likely it's going to play into the hands of the far right all right peter o'brien uh, from the renaissance macron's party headquarters thank you very much